Welcome to the fourth tutorial in this series, a list of apps. Here is the ring from the rigging hook demo in the Blimbridge documentation. The cylinder was imported from Phoebeo Preview and incorporated into an array in Blender. In object mode, I see it as it will be once the apply button has been pressed. Now the ring needs to be joined to a stem and a hilt. The stem is shown here touching but not connected. The stem has been inserted halfway through the ring and half of the affected area has been cut off. On this layer I have the stripped square core. The edges of the horizontal part will be used to cut the rest. The edge of one of the front faces shows how the cut will go. The cut is made. All the points at the boundary are clean and sound. Here the hilt and stem base join the group. This view shows the central layer of elements in a finished condition. Here is the mesh with part of the outside layer of elements finished. Now we are looking at the mesh half in its completed state. The elements closest to the camera seem to show a little shrinkage. On this blender layer I have an outside surface layer, a separate object which I can make visible. I've given it a color and made it partially transparent. It is possible to snap to this outer surface. The magnet tool is activated with volume as target and closest point option selected. The improvement in surface accuracy is easy to see. Next is the view of the mesh after the snapping. It looks improved. This view shows the part after being mirrored twice and joined back to the ring. It looks okay, but there is one aspect that needs to be considered and that is the quality attribute of the mesh half which will now be checked. The mesh is exported to .ply format. It is converted to .vtk format by BlendBridge. It is opened in GMesh and meshed there, then saved as a .vtk file. The GMesh output is opened in ParaView, here version 4.0.1. The scale Jacobian quality is checked. The score of 0.511 is acceptable. However, suppose I wish to have a minimum score of 0.55. I can open a new layout and select the elements with quality lower than 0.55. Then apply an extract selection filter to capture them. Then look at them, but I can do more. I can take them home.
I make sure the extract selection item is the only one selected or visible. Then I save data to a legacy.vtk file with a keyword to help remember which way I am transporting. And then I can use BlendBridge to convert this file to .ply format. Then I can import this .ply file into Blender on the same layer I exported from. I can assign a color to the elements and give them some transparency. And then I can look for the affected elements. I found one. Checking the face just hidden, I see its angles are not a concern. The 135 and the 68 degree angles are likely the problem. I can extend the edge inward and reduce the 135 angle. I forgot to deselect the magnet so the points do not move smoothly. Magnet is now deselected. Edge scaling again is called for. I might as well do the end face too while I'm here. Now to export the mesh and see what effect has been achieved. The mesh quality is unchanged. However, I didn't fix everything. Only one element is left under 0.55, and I think I know which one. It's gone. The editing was successful. Thanks for watching.